So my name is Brandon Townsend. I'm the president of Promotional Print and Packaging. So Promotional Print and Packaging specializes in co-packing, retail store displays, storage and distribution. Promotional Print and Packaging consists of primarily co-packing. So we're doing shrink wrapping, over labeling, anything to get consumers product ready for the retail market. Beyond that, we have expanded into storage and distribution. And more recently, we have segmented off our packaging and display division. And that company is called Juicy Flutes. And that's where all of our technology and all of the inputs that go into our co-packing environment are designed and manufactured and born. So everything that we've built here and everything that Juicy Flutes done is designed to meet that rapid response that retailers are looking for today. So if you require custom packaging and help getting your product into the hands of your customers, we've got a passionate team and the technology to build a custom solution for you. My name is Jay Lalonde. I'm the Canadian Territory Manager for Zund, and we sell digital cutting tables worldwide. Zund has been fantastic. They've enabled us to do almost everything that we've done. Our relationship started early on with building our structural design department. I met Brandon about a year and a half ago. And we got together and we, we discussed what his vision was and what, what his plan was. And, and I, I believe in selling a, not only a, a cutter, but a solution. With any of our technology partners, we're really looking for open source. How open is their API? How willing are they to integrate? There's a lot of software that drives this company. We could connect to any third-party software company. Our system is, is an open concept where we let you have access to our I.O. so we can send information or receive information from any. That's why we're so successful in every industry in, in, the, in the production market. So we have two digital cutters from them. The principal machine is a D3 BHS 150 and it runs a 70 by 125 sheet and we use that for 90% of our display work that goes through there. How the system works is the customer loads their plain product uh, on the feeding system and uh, the system is driven by a barcode system. So if they're running printed materials, the sheet is lifted from the feeding skid. The barcode is read and then it pulls up the right cut file. So before any files get to the actual equipment, everything happens in the front office. Once it's here, we've got our layouts, we've got our die lines, all the images and information that the machine knows to cut. Once it's there, it's gonna register parts of the sheet and make a reference point. Essentially, once we've got the file loaded up, it's separated into paths. Each path matches a tool. So if I turn off some of the paths, and we'll start with creasing. This is all of the creasing that's done for the job. From there, we can add the perfing, which are these lines right here, and our cut path. We've already pre-programmed. So what we've got happening first is our edge detection. Right here, the system is using its camera guidance to look for the edge and then make a, a basically a guess of where it thinks it is. Right here, we can see a green line. It's detected the edge of the sheet. I'm gonna hit the, um, the agree button, and then it's gonna go read the side of the sheet all the way along. Then it's gonna come down and read the other side, do the same thing over again. So now over on the table, the first process that's gonna happen is gonna be the creasing. And it's cutting the design that you see on screen. Once the perfing is done, the tool will change to the oscillating tool. This is a blade that's moving very, very quickly and cutting through the corrugated. Once it's done, it's gonna get passed over to the stacker. It's gonna lift up to the offtake and, uh, and stack on the pallet. And then we have their D3 system, which is used for what we call our micro runs and also for all of our sampling and design. This is what we typically use for our sampling and short runs. Uh, behind us, we're cutting some trays that we would have printed directly to the board. You can do one-offs, you can do multiple if you want, but you don't want to tie up your production unit to make one-offs. This table is an exact replica of the BHS, just without the automation. And so we have redundancy within our system so that files can move from both options back and forth. And so um, typically here's what we're working with. With Zund, we have a mass amount of flexibility. Uh, we're running anything from floor stands to e-commerce packaging. Mainly corrugated is what goes through there. With Zund, we've been able to do two things. One, eliminate the need for dyes significantly. And two, because we're working with such a larger sheet, we can minimize the number of components inside of a display. The ability to, to have that flexibility is really thanks to Zund and digital cutting. What's next? We're gonna rely a lot on our technology suppliers for that. And we really see Zund being the leader in the automation side.